Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to show you all a few different ways in which we can format output in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. All right, everybody, here's a few different ways in which we can format output in C Sharp. As we covered in the last video, to display something to our console window, we would type console.writeline, then you need a set of parentheses, then a semicolon at the end. You place your message within the parentheses. This is known as a method. And we have a semicolon at the end. The semicolon is kind of like the period at the end of a sentence. When we finish a statement in programming, we end it with a semicolon. So to display a message, within double quotes, you would type something. So this is known as a string literal. We're literally printing something to our console. So we kind of covered this in the last video. This will display the word hello. Now there's another way in which we can display output. That is just write. Console dot write parentheses semicolon. And within quotes, let's display something else. What about, hey. Now let's take a look at the difference between the two. All right, we have hey immediately followed by hello all in the same line. In the last video, we used two write line statements. Each string literal had their very own line. But in this case, it's all one line. So with right line, after you finish your string literal, it's going to hit enter like we're hitting the enter key and we'll move down to a new line. Right doesn't do that. So you have two different ways in which you can display output to the console window, right and right line. Right does not hit the enter key after the end. It doesn't create a new line and right line does. So you can use either one depending on what you need. Now there is a shortcut to create a right line statement. You type C, then hit tab twice and that will auto-generate a right light statement for you. Okay, so the next topic to cover is comments. We can add a comment to our code, and this will not be displayed as output. So to write a comment within your code, you need two forward slashes, and you can see that the color of our text changed to green. So I'm going to type, this is a comment, and this has no effect on our output. This comment will not be seen. All we see here is, hey and hello. You can also write a multi-line comment. You would type forward slash asterisk. This is a multi-line comment. Then to end a multi-line comment, you would end it with asterisk, then forward slash again. And last but not least, we have escape sequences. We can add an escape sequence to a string to format our output. So let's create a right line statement and type whatever your name is. Okay, now to create an escape sequence, we need to add a backslash followed by a certain character. Depending on what character you select, it's going to have a special effect on your string. So if I typed backslash T, that will add a tab escape sequence before displaying my name. All right, so we have a tab before my string. So let's change this to maybe a backspace. I'll add that here. So backslash B, that will add a backspace. And my name is now BR code. All right, so we can also do new line, backslash N for new line. So my first name is on one line and my last name is on a second line. Now you may have noticed that there's all this garbage at the end of my console window when my program is done running. So one way in which we can hide that at the end of our program type console.read key. So basically this will prevent our program from ending until we type a key. And it should be hidden now. So if I hit the enter key, well then my program is going to finish running. All right, everybody. So those are a few ways in which we can format output in C Sharp. If you can, give this video a thumbs up, drop a random comment down below. And well, those are a few ways to format output in C Sharp.